Now on 767 News, several young cricketers awarded for outstanding performance in the sport. Echo Guards released first single for their newest products. And the National Queen Competition pre-show pulls in sold-out crowd. In sports, a prominent lawyer accuses the West Indies Cricket Board of victimization. Welcome to a new week of 767 News, where we bring you the latest updates and developments. I'm Alicia George, and I will be back to bring you what's happening in Dominica right after the break. Christmas is just around the corner, but don't worry, Deepex Color Lab has got you covered. That's right, from now until December 27th, visit us to take advantage of special discounts. Enlarge your printed photos as low as $5 per print. Create personalized mugs as a special gift. Print a selfie on a t-shirt. Engrave glasses, make a personalized calendar, all at special rates this Christmas only at Deepex Color Lab. It's Christmas at Court, with prices slashed even further on a wide range of items at all Court's branches up to 60% off. Wow! But you can't wait, so get your last minute deals now. Offer applies to both cash and credit purchases. And of course, mega savings on a wide range of items. It's Christmas at Court, with up to 60% off at all Court's branches. Hurry, stock is limited. Ho ho ho! Is the rum that I want to pull up my belly? Is the rum that I want to bat in the party? Play Big Four and win even more this Christmas. Spend $9 or more on Big Four tickets and get a free letter. Spell ham, rum or buy and win hams, single barrel rum and shopping vouchers. Plus, non-winning promotional tickets gets a chance to win one of four supermarket shopping sprees. Valued at $1,000. The more tickets you buy, the more letters you get to oh, win. Oh, oh, oh. Have a cheerful ham and rum Christmas from the Dominican National Lottery. Promotion starts November 10th to December 31st. This is the new DL750, made to fit your lifestyle, whatever shape it takes. The new KitKat OS means it's faster and easier to enjoy the apps you love, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. With colored covers, you can change to match your lifestyle. A 5 megapixel camera with an amazing flash to capture the moments that matter wherever you are. The new DL750. Lighter, smarter, brighter. Digicel. Welcome back. First up this news time, several young cricketers were recognized for their outstanding performance on Thursday, December 18th during the Dominica Cricket Association's annual prize-giving ceremony at the Fort Young Hotel. Speaking on behalf of Honorable Justina Charles, Minister for Culture, Youth, Sports and Constituency Empowerment, Sports Coordinator Trevor Schillingford questioned the association's progress in improving cricket on the island. Schillingford said there is need for constant scanning of the cricket environment to ensure that the right one is created for players' performance. How much is being done by your association to ensure that the facilities are in place or available for your players to train? Are your leagues attractive? Are they meeting their objectives? Are they providing your players with adequate competition? Schillingford urged the coaches to reach out to state authorities on behalf of players, ensure they benefit from programs and are exposed to the best playing conditions that would prepare them for the competition they are expected to face regionally. He went on to congratulate the under-15 and senior national cricket teams in Dominica for a job well done. Meanwhile, featured speaker and former cricket umpire Billy Doktrov shared some advice with the cricketers. You will experience those long days when you feel like quitting. Hang on in there. Paddle your, your canoe through those turbulent waters. Every one of, the, every one of us have experienced that feeling. It's not a pleasant one. But that's the old saying goes, quitters never win, winners never quit. 
Prizes and awards were given to cricketers, including Kevin James for scoring the most runs, 359, Vivian Titt for most wickets, 30, Grayson Packett for highest individual score, 97, Kasim Pelty for the most promising fast bowler, Kiamba Charles, most promising spin bowler, and Dion Burton for the most promising wicketkeeper. Awards and trophies were also given to champion teams and the under-19 and intermediate divisions. At a time when agriculture in Dominica seems to be taking a hard hit, newly sworn in Minister for Agriculture and Fisheries, Honorable Johnson Drago, says he is happy for the challenge to revive the industry. Minister Drago at the time was addressing media personnel following the ministry's annual Christmas food donation last Friday. I'm coming into the ministry with all of my youthfulness, full of energy, ready to work. Uh, my boots is ready. And I will not be sitting in the ministry. I will be out there in the field with extension, with all the Department of Agriculture to ensure that we work as a team and agriculture continues to succeed. According to the minister, the government has injected significant amount of funds in the agricultural industry, but there is still a need for greater synergies between stakeholders. Agriculture has been good for us in Dominica. Agriculture has been good for our farmers. A lot of our farmers build a comfortable home through their hard labor in agriculture. So I do not accept from anyone who says that the agricultural sector is not getting the support that it needs. I believe there need to be a bit more synergies with the other stakeholders. I'm looking forward to the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Trade working much closer so that um, we can source the right market and we can produce for the market um, that, that, that we have sourced to ensure that the farmers benefit in its entirety. Minister Drago said Dominica will continue to depend on agriculture as one of the driving forces for economic growth. And in other stories, Quincy Bruce of Soufriere has till March 21st, 2015 to pay a $20,000 fine for possession with intent to distribute 4,313 grams of cannabis with a street value of $9,500. Bruce, who appeared before Magistrate Michael Bruni, pleaded guilty to possession and intent to supply. He was arrested and charged after a joint operation by the Customs and Financial Intelligence Unit on December 18th at Soufrier at about 4.50 a.m. The cannabis was found in a nylon bag in a vehicle which was parked outside Bruce's girlfriend's house. He told police it was cannabis but was not good for smoking. In mitigation, Wayne Norde told the court his client had fully cooperated with police and not wasted the court's time, also adding that he was very remorseful. In 2010, Bruce was fined for possession and intent to distribute cannabis. In 2011, he was again fined for cultivation and possession, and in 2012 for possession. If Bruce fails to pay the $20,000 fine by the stipulated date, he will be sent to prison for six months. There was no separate penalty for possession. And members of Echo Guards, a group under the Junior Achievements, JA Company, released a brand new single as part of their marketing campaign and product strategy. Echo Guards is a group consisting of students from the Portsmouth Secondary School whose goal is to find environmentally friendly substitutes for everyday activities. On Friday, December 19th, the group gathered at the JA office to release a brand new single in support of the new product that they will be marketing. Executive Director of JA Dominica, Natasha Asha Yiloy Labad congratulated the students on their recent achievements. And I just wanted to congratulate the students on their achievements. I also want to recognize that they represented Junior Achievement Dominica at the recent Company of the Year um, Award um, Challenge in Ecuador. So we have a few Ecuadorians <laughs> with us. And today we are hoping to record snippets towards the single, the Junior Achievement song, um, theme song which was penned by the actual um, students of the company. The products include a mosquito repellent candle and a mosquito repellent spray. President of the group, Brianna Antoine, said the products were conceptualized as a means to fight off the chikungunya disease, which became rampant in Dominica earlier this year. We made this year two products, the mosquito repellent candles in two different sizes and the mosquito repellent sprays also in two different sizes. 
we made this product because of the rate of chicken guanya in Dominica. We thought that we could do something natural, something to help Dominica and ourselves and protect us and all. Vice President Dominique Zhang added they wanted to stop the spread of chikungunya in a fashionable way. The Portsmouth Secondary School Junior Achievement Club was selected as ambassadors to represent Junior Achievement Dominica Inc. at the International Business Competition, which was held in Quito, Ecuador. The competition began on November 28, 2014 and ended on December 1, 2014. In Ecuador, um, it was a challenge, yes, it had other companies with um, really good products and everything but we went out there we represented Dominica to the best of our ability with our insect repellent sprays and insect repellent candles in Ecuador we we sold some of our products um, the people up there they were really um, impressed with the products that we came up with and also the scent the scent is really really nice especially the candles when you burn that that's like it's just amazing the entire room is filled up with the the scent the goal of the koi competition is to create a signature showcase of junior achievement and the high school students who benefit from the impact of the company program Miss Dominica pre-show sold out, and Lucky Digital Play TV customers win up to $5,000 in Witcher's sweepstake. More details when we return. Christmas is the time of year that you do whatever it takes to make everything just right. When everything is in place, the magic happens. So let us help make this a memorable Christmas for you and your family with a chance at winning your share in over $50,000 in cash and prizes. Simply top up $15 or more, pay your bill in full, sign up for a data plan, or join the Digicel family. Come together and make Christmas extraordinary. Digicel. It's Christmas at Court with prices slashed even further on a wide range of items at all Court's branches up to 60% off. Wow! But you can't wait. So get your last minute deals now. Offer applies to both cash and credit purchases. And of course, mega savings on a wide range of items. It's Christmas at Court with up to 60% off at all Court's branches. Hurry, stock is limited. There are big dogs and there are small dogs, but for all dogs, there's only one dog food and it's called Winner's Choice. Winner's is packed with the best nutrition in a tasty recipe to give your dog a complete and fully balanced diet. The best scientific research goes into making Winner's dog food highly digestible so your dog system stays healthy. So when you feed your dog Winner's dog food, everyone's a winner. And because Winner's Choice dog food is available from Astafans, you know it's the right price. Astafans, right place, right price. During research and preparation for a training session on bartending I did recently, I used the opportunity to capture a few concepts for practical training using Digicel's super fast broadband service. Using some YouTube videos, I'm able to provide a more comprehensive demonstration of cocktail preparation and service. As a restaurant also, I use some renowned beverage sites for greater insights and new trends in food and especially beverage production and service, thus providing a higher quality service to our lovely customers at Old Stone. I'm also able to provide a better balance of local cuisine, plate design, and service as a result of some cooking channels I use. This adds great value to the finished product that we are well renowned for at the Old Stone Grill and Bar. Sign up today for Digicel Play super fast broadband internet service. Digicel Play wishes to advise all customers of ongoing upgrade works on our network across Dominica. We are aware that some customers may be experiencing interruptions in their service. Please be informed that the ongoing works will be carried out over the next few months as we upgrade to the next generation of broadband technology. As such, we apologize for any inconvenience caused. Our technical team will attempt to reduce any outages to a minimum. 
We thank you, our customers, for your patience and look forward to launching new products to Dominica over the coming months. Thanks for staying with us. The seven young ladies vying for Miss Dominica 2015 presented a splendid pre-show on Saturday evening in front of a sold-out audience. The Queen Show pre-show, which took place at the Arawak House of Culture, saw the ladies participate in swimwear, talent, evening wear, and question and answer segments. Chairperson of the Queen Show Committee, Romalda Hyacinth, who gave the official welcome remarks, referred to the young ladies as a sensational seven. Hyacinth said the show gives the girls an opportunity to build on their strengths and improve on their weaknesses. This pre-show event also gives you an opportunity to be acquainted with the contestants. It also gives the Queen Show Committee and chaperones an opportunity to identify areas of strength and those which still require improvement or greater focus. This is all to ensure a classy, elegant, and exceptional Queen Show 2015, she said. Hyacinth added that over the years, the success rate of Queen Show participants from Dominica has been remarkable. Some people say that we take sometimes average girls and make them exceptional. But that is not the truth. We take exceptional, talented, and intelligent young women and give them a platform to share their greatness with the world. Dominica is filled with talent and natural beauty, and it is no exception when it comes to the youth of this country. This is why the government of Dominica, Discover Dominica Authority, Dominica Festivals Commission, and the Queen Show Committee continue to invest every year in staging the National Queen Show to provide a platform for young women to highlight their various community concerns and a chance to win a scholarship to further their education. She called for support of the general public and the corporate community as they are important in the development of the young ladies. The Miss Dominica 2015 national pageant will take place at the Winters Park Sports Stadium on Friday, February 6, 2015. The contestants are Nomana John Baptist of Tarish Beat, Kiana John of Salisbury, Odessa Ellie of Spaffer State, Bianca Blanchard of Point Michel, Cherise Nation of Casabruce, Patrice Dorset of Marigot, and Kelsha Wrighton of Kingsill. Jeff Bellet, a U.S.-based Dominican businessman, will host a Miss Noel St. Mark pageant for the first time in over a decade. The contests include participants from Soufrié, Scotshead, and Gallio, who will compete in four rounds for a chance to be crowned Miss Noel. Bellet told 767 News that he decided to stage the event to bring back positive events in the community and to ease the political tension in his constituency. Um, this is the first time we're going to have this show um, in at least a decade, if not more. Um, the main reason why I decided to go ahead and be the main sponsor and help organize this show, um, as you know, we just had an um, election um, completed here in Dominica and um, Sufres concert Gallo area. People are very politically divided right now. And um, my motive really is to bring people back together in this show and that we can move forward. Um, the people have spoken and it's time to move forward. Um, there's a lot of hills that need to be wound and we're hoping that the show can help um, wound this, um, uh, heal a lot of these wounds. Bellet is urging everyone to attend and support the event. Um, we're going to have contestants from um, 14 years old all the way to 17 years old. And um, the ladies also will be making four rounds on stage. We're going to have an opening round, um, a talent, um, swimwear, and evening wear. So it's going to be a very high quality show. And we are hoping that um, the public will turn out in large numbers. Um, even if this is a Miss Noel St. Mac, we're hoping that um, Dominica turn out for the show. Um, because I remember in Dominica, we used to have um, very good Miss Noel shows and this is something kind of been going away um, I don't know if it's because of the cruel festival kind of people maybe spend all their money then that's why but um, we're encouraging Dominica to come out because it's gonna be a good show the young ladies will take to the stage tomorrow November 23rd at the Carabantic from 5 p.m. the show is being organized with the help of parliamentary representative Honorable Ian Pinard 
Heston Charles, marketing manager of Five's group of companies, accompanied by members of the Hilltop Singers, made the last stop in the annual Christmas concert. On Sunday, Charles and the group members headed to the Dominica State Prison to entertain the inmates with musical performances and prayer. Each year, Charles hosts a concert, first at the Princess Margaret Hospital for patients who are bedridden and sick, and then for inmates at the state prison. In other news, two lucky customers received a chance to take part in the supermarket spree as part of Digital Play TV's Christmas promotion. On Sunday, Anne John White of Goodwill and Joseph Vincent of Point Michel had three minutes to grab up to $5,000 in groceries from Witchurch IGA supermarket. Hey, Mr. Joseph, are you going to share some of your goodies here with your family and friends? Jason Wichert, Ed Marketing and Business Development Manager at HHV Wichert, thanked the participants and wished all of its customers a Merry Christmas. I want to say thank you for the people who participated this afternoon. They did a fantastic job. Uh, Wichert has been around uh, since 1975. Wichert IG, uh, we constantly upgrade to meet the customers' needs and demands. We, we opened a new store in Portsmouth three years ago. Um, that's because we want to bring the same IG experience to all of Dominica. So we want to wish our customers a Merry Christmas. We Following the sweepstick, digital customers gathered in front of the Digi store in Roseau to take advantage of 75% off on selected smartphones. And Ken George, sales and marketing manager at the Dominica National Lottery, has confirmed that a lottery ticket with $270,000, outstanding since November, has been officially claimed. George did not give the name of the Super 6 jackpot ticket holder, but according to previous information, the ticket was purchased at a shop in Grand Bay. The Super 6 draw, which was announced on November 14th, presented the numbers 11, 16, 17, 20, 22, and 23 with free ticket letter G. The handing over ceremony will take place soon, George told 767 News on Monday. The Dominica National Lottery has given hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash and prizes so far this year. The latest in sports news is coming up next, so stay tuned. Say goodbye to those miserable diets that leave you hungry and depressed and replace them with Tosh Snacks. Tosh Snacks are low in calories, have less fat, less sugar, and are packed with nutrition. So you always have lots of energy to walk or exercise and remove all those extra calories. Your diet will love the light honey crackers, sesame seeds, chocolate or vanilla wafers, fruit and grain, oats, fruit or granola cookies, oats with chocolate bits, and brand new cracker cereal fusion. No hungry, miserable, or depressed feelings with Tosh Snacks. Ask the fans. Right place, right price. Not long ago, I planted a crop of bananas. Then suddenly, they started dying one after the other. So I checked the books, and they didn't tell me much. So I went on the internet and did a search. One of the websites told me that black seagull took a disease could be the problem. It said cut the affected trees and new spraying methods periodically on the farm. As a banana farmer, I got excited about the internet. Information is powerful, but it's how we use it that defines us. I was definitely saved by broadband. Sign up for Digicel Play Superfast Broadband Internet Service. Welcome back. In tonight's sports, a prominent lawyer retained by some West Indies players during the recent strike impasse has accused the West Indies cricket board of victimization in the axing of the experienced trio of Dwayne Bravo, Darren Sami and Kiran Pollard from the one-day squad to face South Africa. Barbadian Ralph Thorne QC, who still represents Bravo, said his client had been wronged and he would await his instructions before deciding on the next move. Bravo, Sami and Pollard were members of the one-day side which took the controversial decision to quit the tour of India last October, sparking a bitter impasse with the WICB and Players Union Whipper. Thorn said that the demotions of Bravo, Sami and Pollard exclusively to the T20 team reveals evidence of the victimization that they have fought against. In more cricket, West Indies Cricket Board announced that left-handed batsman Narain Dion Narain will replace Asad Fudadin in the West Indies team of the ongoing three-match test series against South Africa. Fudadin suffered a fracture on the right little finger during warm-up on the opening day of the first test. Dion Narain, 31, is also a capable right-arm off-spin bowler. He has so far played 18 test matches. Dion Narain will depart the Caribbean as soon as his UK in-transit visa is processed. The West Indies lost 
lost the first test by an innings and 220 runs to trail the series by one game to nil. The full squad for the second test reads Danish Ramdin, Captain, Suleiman Ben, Jermaine Blackwood, Craig Brathwith, Shiv Narayan Shandipal, Sheldon Cottrell, Nassim Dion Narayan, Shannon Gabriel, Jason Holder, Leon Johnson, Kenroy Peters, Malan Samuels, Devon Smith, Jerome Taylor, and Shadwick Walton. Meanwhile, left arm simmer Kenroy Peters has been confirmed as the replacement for the injured Kima Roach on the test tour of South Africa. A short release from the West Indies Cricket Board early Sunday said the 32-year-old had been called up for fast bowler Roach, who has been ruled out of the remainder of the tour with an ankle injury. Peters is a seasoned first-class campaigner who topped the bowling charts with 40 scalps at an average of 12.75 apiece in the regional four-day championship earlier this year. He has already taken 13 wickets in four outings for Windward Islands Volcanoes in the WICB Professional Cricket League. The second test bowls off Boxing Day in Port Elizabeth. Roach, meanwhile, will return home to continue his rehabilitation. Now for a recap of tonight's headlines. Several young cricketers awarded for outstanding performance in the sport. Echo Guards released first single for the newest products. And the National Queen Competition pre-show pulls off a sold-out crowd. In sports, prominent lawyer accuses the West Indies Cricket Board of victimization. And that's all the time we have for tonight. Drop us an email at media at 767news.dm. Friend us on Facebook and be sure to like our 767 News page. From all of us on the 767 News production team, I'm Alicia George, wishing you a wonderful evening and thanks for watching. Boom, Miss and I, it's my time. To get on bad when I jam in at everybody Come celebrate with me But if you don't know me yet Don't worry man, we go take a jam in a party yeah. Put one hand in the air 767 News